हेलो वेलकम टू फाइनेंशियल फ्रीडम विद प्लैनेट वेल्थ पॉडकास्ट आई एम योर होस्ट एंड वेल्थ कोच ब्रिजेश पारिक एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिमिस्टिफाई द बेसिक्स ऑफ इन्वेस्टिंग इन आर एपिसोड टाइटल्ड इन्वेस्टिंग 101 जीरो वन डिमिस्टिफाइंग द बेसिक्स ऑफ इन्वेस्टिंग इन्वेस्टिंग इज एन एसेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ बिल्डिंग वेल्थ बट इट कैन ऑफन सीम ओवरवेलमिंग एंड कन्फ्यूजिंग स्पेशली फॉर बिगिनर्स In this episode we will break down complex investment concepts into easily understandable terms and provide real life examples to ensure our listeners can grasp the core principles So let's jump right into it Before we dive into the technicalities let's understand why investing is crucial for financial growth Investing allows your money to work for you instead of simply relying on your income to accumulate wealth by investing you can potentially earn returns that surpass inflation which is crucial for maintaining the purchasing power of your money in the long run one of the first concepts we will explore is risk tolerance every investor has a different risk tolerance which refers to their willingness and ability to take on investment risk Understanding your risk tolerance is crucial because it determines the types of investments that align with your comfort level. For example, if you have a low risk tolerance, you may prefer conservative investments like bonds, while those with a higher risk tolerance might opt for more aggressive investments like stocks. To help us understand risk tolerance better, let's consider an analogy. Imagine you are planning a road trip. You have two options for routes. One is a scenic but windy road with potential hazards, while the other is a well-maintained highway. Your decision will depend on how comfortable you are with taking risks. Similarly, in investing, your risk tolerance will determine the investment path you choose for your financial journey. Another important aspect of investing is asset allocation. Asset allocation refers to the distribution of your investment portfolio across various asset types such as stocks, bonds, and cash equivalents. It's important to diversify your investments to minimize risk. Let me paint a picture to explain asset allocation better. Imagine you are hosting a dinner party and you have to prepare a meal you wouldn't serve only one dish right you'd offer a variety of dishes to cater to different tastes and preferences in investing diversifying your portfolio is similar to preparing a well balanced meal for your financial future by spreading your investments across different asset classes you reduce the impact of any single investment's performance on your overall portfolio now that we have covered risk tolerance and asset allocation let's discuss the different investment vehicles available here are some common investment options one stocks when you invest in stocks you become a part owner of the company as the company grows and earns profits the value of your stock increases two bonds bonds are fixed income securities issued by governments or corporations by buying bonds you are essentially lending money to the issuer in exchange for regular interest payments and the return of your principal when the bond matures three mutual funds Mutual funds pool money from multiple investors to invest in a diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, or other assets. This allows investors to access professional management and diversification without requiring a large investment. Four exchange traded funds ETFs. ETFs are similar to mutual funds but trade on stock exchanges. They offer diversification. and can be bought and sold throughout the trading day at market prices few that's a lot of information but don't worry investing doesn't have to be overly complicated let's simplify these concepts with a relatable story picture this you are at a farmers market 
you have different stalls selling various products. The stocks are like different fruits, each with its own taste and growth potential. Bonds, on the other hand, are like the vegetables stable and reliable. Now, as you walk around the farmer's market, you notice the mutual funds and ETF stall. Here, you can find pre-packaged baskets that contain a variety of fruits and vegetables all conveniently put together for you. Instead of having to select individual stocks and bonds, you can simply choose a basket that aligns with your investment goals. Now that we have covered the basics, let's conclude by providing some actionable tips for beginners who want to start their investment journey confidently. Tip 1. Start with a clear investment goal, determine why you want to invest and what you hope to achieve. Whether it's saving for retirement, buying a house, or funding your child's education, having a specific goal will help guide your investment decisions. Tip 2. Educate yourself, keep learning about investment strategies, market trends and different investment options. There are plenty of online resources, books, and podcasts to expand your knowledge. Tip 3. Begin with small, manageable steps. Start by investing a small amount of money that you are comfortable with. As you gain confidence and experience, you can gradually increase your investments. Tip 4. Diversify your portfolio. As we discussed earlier, diversification is key to reducing risk. Spread your investments across various asset classes, industries and geographies. I hope you enjoyed our journey into the world of investing and that the concepts are now demystified for you. Remember, investing is a long-term game, so take your time, be patient and stay focused on your goals. Hope you found this episode helpful. If you have any questions or want us to cover a particular topic in our upcoming episodes, please let us know. Thank you for listening to this episode. If you found useful, please share and see you in the next episode. Until next time, keep planning, keep growing and keep securing your financial future. Take care.